Hey guys, welcome back to Sentence. So, thank you for everyone who has watched till now. So, yeah, let's start. Before starting, let's have a quick recap. You know what has happened. So, we have made Alison our daughter. We are part of an investigation group which contains of Michael and Helen. Michael is a computer specialist and hacker who is helping us. There is Helen who is an investigative journalist who is also helping us. We have a notes where we can, you know, click the photos. We have Melanie, our ex-wife. We have Zawaski, the guy who tried to bribe, who tried to, you know, get money from us. And then we have our lawyer. So, yeah, that's basically the persons we have met until now. And by time we are going to see our notes and it's going to make everything clear like what has happened till now. So kindly tell me guys how are you liking the story because this mini games I know this is a pretty boring so if you guys want I can just cut the mini games and get you the story like that's the real meat of this game the investigative story so do comment on that. And yeah, that's about it. So, you do tell me, how are you liking this story? That's the main thing that I want to ask you guys. Like, how much do you like this story? Do you find it interesting? Do you find it suspenseful? Do you feel the mystery or have you just cracked the mystery? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this story has an interesting point. Like, if you crack the story before it gets to the finale, do share with us because this is a detective interactive story and oh by the way from next week we will have like three episodes of this story uh, i think i'm gonna upload on monday thursday and saturday yeah hopefully we can carry out that so yeah investigation shit let's see shit again i'm freaking the fuck out Maybe you should calm down first. Yeah, you should. Well, like what has happened? Okay, what happened? That's literally what I said. Yeah, these are the logical things to say. Maybe you should calm down first. Okay, relationship weakened. That's bad. Samantha's mother told me to go to hell. Okay, she is a vindictive woman. I haven't heard the kind of language she used since my high school days. It really rattled me. Welcome back to town. Oh, basically, she slanged her. Yeah, she literally used slang language, I think. I would have thought you would have seen stranger things in your line of work. I'm sorry. Yeah, we are sorry. We are pretty apologetic. Alright, let's forget it. Where are we with the investigation? As of now, nowhere. We are at a dead end. Yeah, we are actually. I'll think of how about how to approach her. It would probably be better if someone else did it. Yeah, I think it would be better. No, we... Okay, we, I trust your skills. Yeah, we are gonna go with that. Because we need to buy some points for the relationship. Yeah, relationship improved. That's what we want. Thanks, I appreciate it. Then I'll be waiting for updates from you, yeah? We will. Because without updates, how are we gonna progress with the story? You will get your updates. Did you talk to Ted's neighbors? Yeah, but I could only find one of them. He said that the fire happened two days ago and he saw a white pickup truck. He didn't get the number, of course. Hmm, that's a real important clue. Thanks for making the trip. Thanks for making the trip. That's the right option, I think. So basically, this game doesn't have a right option. We just need to, you know, get on the good side so that people help us. Like, okay, why tap? That's interesting. Now we are spying on our daughter. Nice. Hey, I'm back. Hi, Ali. I'm taking a walk around town. It's the first snowfall. Let's see the first snowfall. <laughs> well, they just literally used any snowfall video they could find. Nice. 
okay there's so much i have been wanting to tell you but now i can't think of anything okay are we kind of like friends now ooh i really hope so yeah this is going to relationship shit it will always be easier for you since you are the one who decided to end things wow the guy broke up with the girl nice it really doesn't happen often cuz normally the girls are the one who break up so yeah no i would say it doesn't happen but it doesn't happen often like you don't hear about that so much and i don't want to hear that leaving was for my own good that i deserve a better life i think you just got cold feet yeah actually people do that you let me get too close and you panic if you are going to keep this up it would be better for us to stop talking i'll wait for you tonight at the revolver unless you're straight edge now of course not see you at 10 nice video by the way <laughs> nice it still wants the you know be big as is a family friendly channel i don't want to do anything like no bad words so basically we literally listened on a lover squirrel wow that's interesting like we are spying on our own daughter think about the scenario a guy a father who is spying on his own daughter talking to the guy who is actually helping her that's pretty interesting actually the premise Oh by the way if you guys love this they actually have another game i think this call i am innocent so yeah we can totally check it out after this series so do let me know how much are you guys liking this sort of a detective arg game i don't know what arg means so yeah but the story is pretty good being a detective fan being a fan of mystery thrillers i am totally into the story like I really did. they are just introducing characters and there's nothing much to do okay we fucked it up a little bit and just now i told this is a family friendly channel leave it the locational thing is going to go out you know sometimes it just happens so yeah but i'll try to not use any language that's you know should be you know beep or like in the translation or in the transcription it's like star 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 so yeah i will definitely try not to use any such language but sometimes it just happens right emotions and oh by the way i don't think that any of you guys watched the premiere or just saw the poll so i am again going to ask you guys like are you happy with the length or should i just trim it down cuz i am seeing that most of the people who are seeing this are only viewing this like for a minute so i was thinking about should i you know trim it down okay we are out of moves yeah we need to use money on that so yeah that's basically what i was thinking of doing like rather than doing 20 minutes video i was thinking of cutting it down to like 10 minutes video so that you know people who people can just watch and by the way as i was telling that i think next not next week but the week after that you might have a surprise like i'm thinking about doing something which i have not done until now like my first week on youtube I don't know it's going I don't know like I got how much I think I got total in 19 views on this two parts so yeah not going great but yeah going good mother of the kidnapped girl Samantha Novak Mrs Novak is this Henry yes who's this yeah who's this you have got the wrong number no you have got the right number so who's this Let's go. Yes. Who's this? Ah, 
I am Samantha's mother. Her boyfriend Ted was murdered and you knew him very well. Yeah. You are the one accused of murdering him, right? How did you know? Yeah, how do you know? Like, are you in the police, woman? I'm sorry, Samantha is missing. How do you, do you know? Someone told me. That means she has contacts. Nice. How strange that my daughter disappeared at the same time Ted was murdered. I don't understand what you are talking about. What do you mean? Stop beating around the bush. Yeah, I don't understand what you are talking about. Because we really don't care about the relationship with her. Yeah, I, I don't give a damn about this. So, yeah, let's do it. She might have seen something, so you killed her. Yeah, we killed her. We are the murderer. Didn't want any witnesses around, did you? If that's the case, then I'll go to jail. No, we're not going to jail because we didn't do it. So let's go to the second option. That's the case, then I'll go to jail. I have already been under house arrest for a while. Yeah, we are. But you are a former cop. Your friends will let you go, I know it. No, madam, that doesn't happen in police business. But I'll go over their heads, I'll raise a fuss. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, totally you can do. Then you might piss off the kidnapper and get Samantha hurt. Yeah, you might get your daughter hurt actually. Because she's in the hands of a serial killer. Where is she? We don't know. What did you do with her? If you let her go, you will get a lighter sentence. You have a daughter of your own. Please. We don't know, madam. I just want to know where she is and if she is okay. Trust me, I didn't kill Ted or kidnap Samantha. Yeah, trust us, old woman. It's in my best interest to find her. Yeah, it is in our... We will find her, so... She could prove my innocence. Yeah, she can actually. She actually can because she can tell that I wasn't there or what Ted did that night. I heard Ted tell Samantha you threatened him. In my 20 years as a policeman, I met hundreds of guys like Ted. Okay. So I don't think Ted was a nice guy. As for Samantha, I am searching for her. Yeah. We are going to go for the Samantha route. Root. Sorry. Even if that's true, you're under house arrest. I have help. Yeah, we have help. Like, we have two helps, actually. One a hacker who is nuts and one a girl. The journalist who came to see me. Yes. Yes, you're right. But not just her. No, we are not giving her everything. Yes. I don't believe a single word you say. Don't believe us. And I've got proof that you threatened Ted Barnes. If I go to jail, they will never find Samantha. Okay. You have got nothing on me. No, we are not going there. We are going the jail route, I think. Yeah. We are going the jail route, totally. Investigation. Henry, who were you talking to just now? I detected some sort of discussion, but I didn't know with who. Detected? It was Samantha's mother. Yeah, she, he is tapping us. So, yeah. We are tapping him. He is tapping us. It is a tapping business. That nut job, sorry for giving you her number. Sorry for giving her your number. She finally believes Samantha is missing, yeah. Okay, she is telling her a nut job. So, yeah, she feels kind of nuts. But nervousness is understandable. No, we are going to go with the final route, yeah. This one.
Is there any way she can help the investigation? Doubt it. Yeah, we totally doubt it. What about, what should we do about her? Let us stick around, maybe she will remember something suspicious. Let's try not to fight with her anymore for now. Yeah, let's try not to fight. We are civil. We are gotta be civil. Okay, relationship weakened. Why? You guys wanna fight with her? You guys wanna fight an old woman? She definitely shouldn't see the video Helen received. Yeah, it seems like she's in a fragile state. Totally. If she received that video, she could put our investigation at risk. It would be on every news site in the country by tomorrow. Agreed. It's risky. Yeah, it's risky. Right now, there's no sense in traumatizing her. Yeah, there is actually no sense in traumatizing her. She is not someone who is easily traumatized. Collect one, start to continue. That's it, guys. Yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share the video with anyone who thinks will is a detective fan or likes detective stories. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys with part 5 of Sentence. Till then, keep watching. Bye-bye.